return the user awesome so return the user and phew, the user is created so this is the first user customer so i'm going to click send now i'll click send and as you can see the user has been what has been created hello big droid welcome again to this short tutorial in this today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to build a simple wordpress api that can actually create a user account yes now before we proceed let me go to the dashboard let me go to the dashboard area so at the dashboard area here we have our user navigation bar and uh, navigation bar so i click on my user now at the moment here we have what two user which is uh my account and another person's account which is henry mary okay so we are going to build a simple wordpress api from scratch from scratch we are not using uh woocommerce api or bypassing anything it's a new api from scratch that we're going to be building to um, to solve this user creation problem okay so to get started with we are going to um open our project our wordpress folder project on our vs code okay to do that i'm going to go to my folder click on the folder that my wordpress is installed then i'm going to open this entire folder with code okay now the folder has come up this is it here so let me um take out all the folder i've been working on let me take everything down so let me um zoom my screen zoom okay zoom um zoom a bit so you can see what i'm doing clearly okay i think this is enough okay so let me take this to the side a bit okay so to get started with the custom api there are two ways of doing this either writing it in a plugin or writing it in a theme but today just as i've said i want to make it simple so we are working with our team so make sure you apply it to your um, active current team so what is my active current team it is top front so to check your active current team is very simple go to your appearance and go to your teams open it in a new tab and check if it's active or not so you must make sure you are running this in your active current team as you can see my stuff front is where is what is active okay so let me go back to the user page and click on my vs code so i drop down the stuff front then inside the stuff front folder click on functions functions.php okay so once you are here just scroll down to the last end scroll down to the last end and you can hide a comment here my custom api development okay yeah this here is says my custom api development so over here now the first thing you need to do is to um declare your m function you can either use class method or using it or, or using a, an anonymous function or your, your private function so i'm going to be using a simple method to use so that you understand it clearly so i'm going to write my function here now function function um create so um it is actually advisable to um it is advisable for you to use a class so that your function will not mismatch with other plugins functions but in this um, simple tutorial we are just going to be doing using it with a simple functions okay so i'm going to say functions um let me call this add a create user add a create user okay so with add a create user you are going to point the wp um rest request over here so you can accept anything get request from from the server okay so let me first close this now and over here i'm going to point my wp rest request so wp rest request then my wp rest request is going to be resting on oh, it's going to be resting on request so i'm going to rest this on my request sorry okay so my wp rest request is resting on my request that is i in i instantiate this into this um variable here as simple as that so after doing that the next thing we need to declare here now is to get take it down and initialize the um api endpoint so i'm going to see uh, i'm going to comment this out now so i'm going to say okay in it um api okay so once i click in it api we're going to add an action so as you can see um my github copilot has automatically filled out for me which is very awesome and very fantastic so over here now we have what add an action so we add this action 
let me take it out so you will see what I'm, what is actually here so we had an action so an action is a hook in wordpress to perform whenever this um functionality um um once this functionality is executed this action is going to take place and run the necessary function that we like to be run so that's what this uh, action hook does so with the rest api rest api in it it gain, once this api is initialized my own custom api is also going to take place that is what this um this code simply means so now let me return this um this callback functions that we have in this place so this callback function is the function that is going to run after this guy has been initialized this callback function is going to run and register my own route my own personal route is going to register it so i can decide to use any route that i want so uh, let me just change this route to something else but make sure you have version it is very very important okay so here i have what are they create user so i'm going to say um are they are they api high sorry are they api high okay so what version of my api am i using so i want to name this version one which is very very important to name it okay are they api version one and here which is the endpoint what did I want my endpoint to be? I can decide to use this same method name as my endpoint URL. It is allowed. Okay. So I'll copy that and paste it into this place. So here I have my main route with version one. And here are the create user, which is the method that I'm also using as a parameter to my endpoint. Okay. So here we have a um, create user passing the method of what post okay so after we are done with this uh, we can make a test to see if it's going to work so i'm going to return i'm working i'm working okay so we're going to return i'm working to our endpoint uh, to our request area at the testing level so now for us to test this api now i will require you to use postman so i'm currently running on postman over here so in case you don't know what postman is go to your um search engine um search for postman and this is going to come up for you so you can see my screen postman api so click on it download it and you can enjoy the benefit of what we are working on now so after you are on your postman so the first thing i did here on my post my crits i created an um i created a folder called wordpress api so inside this folder i want to create a new request okay so i'll click on new request and my requester will be create user create user request so inside my create user request what method did i want to use is the post method so with this post method i can dump data from form or uh, from input feed area so with this post method that we are using in our code area is what we're going to be accepting as the postman area okay so after we are done setting the um the location or uh, the method rather so the next thing we need to point is our url so um, let me go to the home page or to the um to the browser and copy this let me copy it down to the wop iphone so come back to your postman paste this guy and um add wop iphone json so it's, it's going to be iphone json slash now after you add the iphone json slash then the next thing to consider is to um copy this and copy this also so go back to your um postman paste this which is um our alias then comma as a comma slash then the endpoint itself that is pointing to this um to this our uh, uh, register route okay so you are going to add that which is this guy here so i already had it then which is add a create user good so now our um our layer is set and it is ready for testing so now let me click on send let me click on send and see what we are going to receive now as you can see it says what i'm working that means our endpoint is working very fine so now what do we want to do with this endpoint as i've said earlier we want to create a new user over here that is going to be added to this um to this list of users in this place and the role will be customer okay so to do that is very 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 simple so i'm going to go back to um my method area which is my functions so i'm going to say okay create create a new wp user okay sorry create a new wp user and we are going to use wp insert into user um 
which is, which is one of the best um part of github copilot if you are running on github copilot this will help you um in instantiate that in in a second you know it will do that quickly for you so as you can see the github copilot run this up for me um quickly so over here we have what wp insert user method which is uh function which is what which, which is what we are going to use um even without github copilot is helping us to do that so which, which is what we're going to use so here now we are passing some array of data of user login uh, user password user email first name last name and the row okay so now let's now pass this from our um from our um data type which is our form form data so to do that i'm going to copy this guy now copy username um let me copy everything password email first name last name and don't forget the role is what is customer so i'm going to go back to my postman go to the body area click on form data scroll down click on key paste in from the third from the beginning which is the username and the username will be awesome awesome and the next one is what password the password will be um cool the password will be cool and the next one will be what um which is um, email the email will be well um well at gmail or let me use cool at gmail gmail okay sorry gmail.com do we are not receiving any email it's just a demo okay so after the email we have the first name the first name is uh Ao, and the last name is what the last name is sum okay so the first name is how the last name is some and the um the role is what is customer as defined and uh, you can also pass this role from here if you want a customized role from your um, application or from your endpoint wherever you are sending it from so you can just copy this guy here and replace it with the customer and this one will be changed to what to row if you want it that way okay let's do it that way let's do it that way sorry so the row will be customer. So let me say row customer. Yeah. So you can do it the same way. So after the user has been added to cart, ah, I say cart has been added to database. Then we fetch the user. So get user. Okay. So to get this user, it's going to use get user by ID, which is what user ID that we just what launched. After the user has been retrieved, then we return the user. Awesome so return the user and push the user is created so this is the first user customer so i'm going to click send now i'll click send and as you can see the user has been what has been created awesome so i'll go to my wordpress dashboard reload this page let's see what we have as you can see we have awesome awesome cool as gmail.com and here is what is the customer uh with the rule of the customer now um i can decide to create another person with what administrator so i'm going to what go back to this layer change the email to cool cool two or do something different from the email so the email won't match with himself and the username also has to be awesome too so the uh the user that the username is going to be what uh, is going to be unique is not going to match the previous record so we have a unique username and a use uh, yeah, and a unique email so the next thing to pass here is what administrator so i'm going to say admin so let me just do a copy from here and paste it into this place change the a to small letter and what and send as you can see it's going to what process itself and we should have that as you can see now the capabilities what administrator let me refresh this page now and see what we have as you can see we just create a new words a new admin awesome thank you so much for the watching uh thank you so much for watching this um, short tutorial see you in my next one and do do subscribe to my channel to see more of great content like this so see you in my next one thank you bye